Hello everybody, welcome to a tutorial on how to rip your CDs to FLAC. FLAC is free lossless audio codec and it is the lossless version of basically MP3. It's like a 7-zip archive for audio, or at least that's how it's described here. Um, you're not going to need to download the FLAC encoder beforehand, but if you already did, great. What we are going to need to download is uh, two pieces of software which are both made by the same company and one is really just an extension to the first one so what we're going to need to do is open up our web browsers and go to foobar2000.org this is an audio player which also rips CDs and um, can burn CDs and has a ton of other components which you can download here but right now we're just going to get concerned with getting the main program and we're just going to head over to download this is completely safe and you can either download the Windows 10 app here or download the executable file here which it'll automatically start downloading and it's going to send it to the downloads place in whatever your web browser is so once that finishes downloading you're just gonna run that and it'll take you through a very brief installation wizard in which you're going to just run it and you can um, this I have to um, run the update but you're just gonna click on next all the way through as usual it can be installed in both portable which runs on a pen drive or in a folder or it can be permanently installed to your system I recommend the permanent install option the next piece of software going that we're going to get is from this website so you're gonna go to foobar2000.org slash encoder pack so you go to slash encoder pack hit enter and it's going to take you here this um, will automatically install all of the audio formats for this audio player so you just click on download free encoder pack and again it will send you here and you're just going to run the brief install wizard and that's all we're going to need to do for software now once you install it make sure to run it I'm just going to run it from here and it's going to open up the main program now what you're going to do is grab the CD that you want to rip in this case I'm going to grab oh I don't know let's do um, a CD by uh, Drake Bell in this case um, this one's called Telegraph and you're just going to want to put that into your CD drive as you normally would and it's going to load your CD as per usual make sure you know when it's fully loaded before you try to do this and you'll see this notification at least if you're on Windows and you're gonna go to open audio CD and do rip and as you can see it is automatically detected my CD you can either use music brains or FreeDB as the uh, database you want to look up from I prefer music brains as it's crowdsourced I believe FreeDB might be, but this one is usually kept very up to date by audiophiles and music nerds like me. And now what we're going to do is make sure all that information is correct, make sure verify with accurate rip is checked, and you're going to want to go to the proceed to converter setup dialog. It's going to contact the accurate rip database, and now you're presented here. Now we're going to change all these settings individually, so go to Output Format and make sure you select FLAC Level 5, it should already be there. Um, leave all the options as they are and click on Back. Destination, it's going to say which one, you want me to, which one do you want to save it to, how do you want it sorted, and the file already exists, it will either ask, skip, or overwrite, I usually use ask. I always do artist title unless I am ripping a very album specific thing in which I will do album. And other than that, you're just going to click on back. 
You do processing. This is where you can fill in whatever you want. Skip silence usually works um, very well if you want to do that. And you can do any of these options. And other than that, you're just going to click on back. And then other, just make sure transfer metadata and transfer attached pictures is there. And that's what we're going to do. And then you're just going to click on save. And if it prompts you with this, you just click on create a new preset. And let's just say that this one will be called test preset. And that and you just click on convert. And it'll pop up with that dialog. And it's going to ask you where you want to save your music. I save all my lossless in a separate folder under lossless music on my C drive. And then I have it sorted through different things. There's some albums that I haven't sorted yet that have compressed and uncompressed files. That's why those are there. But in this case, I'm just going to go with my pop my popular genres folder and I'm going to click on select folder now it is going to run that and that's about all there really is to it guys and you will be able to play those files with this player it should automatically um, detect them if not if you double click on them it'll ask you what player do you want to play them with and you can just select this program be sure to talk about what Please, please be sure to leave your thoughts and talk about this and discuss in the comments, and we'll see you in the next video.